This is Richard Groot. He is a creel fisherman from the island of Stronzi in Orkney. His current boat is the Internos 2. She's an APR 29 hull design built of fiberglass in 1981. I built her for the Isle of Sky and steamed her home to Orkney in April 2005. She's 29 feet long and has a beam of 11 feet. She draws 5 feet of water. The engine is at 80 horsepower Ford and her top speed is 7 knots. He's out at sea every day, weather permitting, checking his creels for lobster or crabs. The hydraulic hauler is capable of lifting loads of up to 1 ton. Although he never quite knows what he'll get in a creel, like this dogfish for example. We'll throw him back. The creels are plastic cottage steel frames covered with netting and usually have two eyes where the lobster enter the trap. A backdrop is 20 creels linked with rope and a chain anchor at each end. I have 400 creels in use at the minute. Crabs of all types are attracted to the bait in the creel, but it's only the velvet crabs, partons and of course the lobster that Richard wants to attract. The rest go back. Richard uses horse mackerel, or scad, to bait the creels. The main catch is lobsters and velvet crabs which are caught in the creels. Other seasonal catches include whelks and edible brown crabs, known locally as buckies and partons. This is today's haul of velvet crabs. In this day and age, with lobsters being scarce due to our fishing, one lobster to every ten creels is an acceptable catch. But with the sea, nothing is predictable. The lobsters are kept separate from the crabs. This creel has two lobsters in it. and he's checking them for size. But sadly, they're too small. So back they go. This female lobster is buried or carrying eggs. A few years ago, Orkney Fisheries Association funded a scheme to ensure the future of lobster fishing in Orkney waters. Originally the scheme rewarded fishermen with a cash incentive for no land and buried females. And the lobsters were marked with a V-cut in one of their tail fins so they could be easily identified if they were caught again. Although the cash incentive has ended, it is still illegal to land V-notched lobsters. Once the backdrop of 20 creels has been hauled and rebated, it's time for them to be shot back into the sea. On a typical day I'm up at 6 and off the sea by 7, but this depends on the time of year, the sea and tide conditions. Depending on how many creels I have to haul, I can be back in at the pier by 5. Although my day still isn't finished, I still have to tie lobsters, cut buttons and prepare for the next day.
case I work on my own, I usually fish during daylight hours, which is grand in the long summer days, but no so easy in the winter months, where the daylight can be as little as seven hours. The claws of the lobsters are secured with elastic bands. Once all the creels have been checked, the catch is transferred into these wooden boxes, which are anchored in the sea to keep the catch alive. Even though the boat's tied up, the work still isn't finished. There's tidying up to do and creels to repair. The creels get damaged by the weather, especially the heavy winter seas from the southeast. Also, seals like to get a free feed and damage creels while trying to get to the contents. That's another one fixed and ready for back out tomorrow. The next morning we're up really early to gather the week's catch. Ferry will take the boxes of live crabs and lobsters into Kirkwall and from there they'll be sent south. Most of the velvet crabs are shipped live to Spain. Once lobsters are landed in Stronzi, they are shipped alive to Kirkwall. They know in sooth and could end up on a dinner plate in a posh London restaurant. And these are the partons, the edible brown crab. The empty boxes are back from Kirkwall, so it's time to load them back on board the boat. Then there's bait to chop. And 
it's time to head out again to start another week. I love the sea and enjoy being outside and get a real buzz when I get a lobster and a creel. Salt ships, salt ships, salt stations. This is Orkney Harbour Radio. Orkney Harbour Radio. Here's a local weather forecast for Scapa Flow, the Pitt Harbour, the Northern Coastal Waters. Oh, I lay in bed or lang this morning, heedless, oh, my mother's a warning. Turned and twisted all night long and never closed a knee. While outside a million stars were winking, sleep it wouldn't come for thinking. Thinking, oh, the loving words that Willie said to me. Oh, Willie's tall and Willie's bonny, Willie has no muckle money. Know that seller matters when I can I lose him will. But I think I'd better tarry, bide a wee afore a marry, bide till Willie's catching mare than partons in his curiel.